Gorgeous Georgian goes reporting for duty here. Batting leadoff is Montel Jackson. Montel, welcome to MMA Junkie Radio. How are you? I'm good. Thank you guys for having me. All right. And so before the show, you were talking about you really want to brush up on your Espanol. Why is that? Oh, man, so I can get on uh, ESPN uh, Sport Days oh, okay. and other, like, sport, uh, like Spanish-speaking uh, Spanish speaking, uh, sport shows. Okay. See, I thought you were going to tell me, man, I love the Mexican food, I love the Peruvian food, and I want to know how to order it so the chef don't mess up my order. No, man, I, I can do that. I can order food and all that stuff, man. I want to be able to have, like, real conversations and be, be able to express myself in Spanish. Uh -huh. and, and, two, like, uh, just pay homage to, like, like when I had some great, uh, some, some great teachers. Like I, I had uh, Mr. Sapubita, Maestro. He was great. Uh, Miss Cochran, she was great. Miss Allende, great. Uh, Mr. Levis, great. Um, the guy that got me into uh, doing MMA, uh, Gato, great. You know, he was Puerto Rican. These are all like Spanish-speaking people. Uh, my coach, Solo Acosta, you know, he's Puerto Rican. You know, great people. Um, one of my main training partners, Javier Coronado, you know, Spanish speaker. So, it, it for me, it just to, just to pay homage and you know, to be a homage to them. So, on a scale of one to ten, how much? How's your Spanish? So, right now, as of right now, man, it's horrible. Okay, so we're at a one. Next <laughs> year, one. when we get you back at the expo next year, you better be at at least at a three. I'm skipping two. We need no, you at a three. I'm, Can no, you count on it? We no, got I'm, one year. Man, I'm trying to be at like a six or a seven. Oh, okay. I'll back off. Hey, listen, you haven't lost in three years. How does that feel? You're riding, I think, a four or five win streak. How does that feel, man? You you must have a nice bit of confidence going right about right now. Yeah, man, confidence. Uh, man, my confidence beater, win, lose, or draw. Like, you, like, you always got to, like, I always had a mentality of, I can, I will, I must. Like, I am the best. I am the best. I am the best. I'm the best. So you always got to have that mentality, man. No, no matter where you at, you always got to have that mentality of, I can, I can, I can. Montel, so a streak like yours, we've seen fighters sometimes get these, and then they the, they get as high as up to 9, 10, 11, and they're still not really where they want to be. Um, how do you do it so that you don't get lost in the shuffle? Because you got some pretty solid wins. I only I feel like just a few more, you should be in those talks, right? Yeah, man, it's just it's just not being complacent and not being satisfied. Like you always gotta you always gotta have that mentality of I don't deserve this. Like so. If, if you have that, if you if you had that mentality of I don't deserve this, you you gonna always be humble in your approach, and you are gonna work hard. You have a little bit of each. You got decisions. You have finishes. I know the finishes have to feel great, man. Do they feel almost addictive? Like when you get one, do you have to get the next one? No, man. I I, I never go out there with that mentality because that's when you make mistakes and you do things you, you won't normally do. And when you start fighting to the crowd. You in trouble, man. You in trouble because you fighting with your heart and not with your head. And in my opinion, that's like the worst thing ever for a fighter. So go out there, do what you do best, stick to the game plan, and win. You don't gotta do anything special out there. If anybody's actually go out there and do anything special, that's not the person you should have in the corner. Just go out there and do what you do best. What about a particular? Maybe not a particular name. If you have one, great. But what about a particular style, a venue? If they asked you, what's on your wish list? How do you want to make your next fight? Oh, really, man? You know, I'm, I'm really just trying to. Man, Vegas would be a, a be the destination. It'd be a good place for me to fight. Um, and then, other than that, man, anybody, man, whoever willing to step up, or whoever is uh, up next for the fight, you know, I just throw my name out there. This is an exciting division that you're in. Tons of possibilities. If, if, you, if you're not sure about the next opponent, you know, you just want, obviously, the matchmakers to bring them to you. At least tell us this. What are your goals for the rest of this year and next year? Do we start hearing anything regarding the title? Or is that pressure you don't want? How, how do you approach that? Oh, man, you know, just one step at a time, like everything else, man. So we going to... Like, we're going to worry about what's in front of us right now. So what's in front of us right now is just making it to the top 15, finishing out the year in the top 15, and, and, and going undefeated like the rest of this year. 2024, we're going to start our march towards the title, and, you know, hopefully we can work our way down. As far as the International Fight Week, are there any fighters you'd like to meet, whether you're just a fan or someone you'd like to pick their brain about technique or anything like that? 
Uh, nobody really, man. Uh, I, I watch a lot of these guys, so I, you know, I'm always watching fights. Uh, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly guys per se at the UFC. So, you know, I just you know my whole career has been you know I could take a little bit from him, take a little bit from him. We gonna we gonna put it together. We are gonna shake it up and see what we gonna get out of it. You know. So yeah, man, like not not really. And then too, I I, I really don't like the bar the guys, man. I know, I know, they they get enough of talking shop with people and people asking about past and like future or hypothetical matchups and shit like that. I don't, I don't want to be that guy, man. You know, I just, I just want people to have a piece like I would want to have mine. When's the last time you were impressed while watching a fight? Do you remember the fighter and the technique? Yeah, man. So, uh, what, what, like recently, like, uh, had me like, kind of like. Like stoked or whatnot was uh Leon Nevers when he fought Kamara e- Usman. Yeah. Like it was it was like great the way he uh he picked his shots, he controlled the range, and you know uh his footwork was exiting out, you know, not not standing there too long to let uh Kamara Usman answer back or set up that takedown. So that fight was like one of my most recent ones that I like I got, you know I, I watched and studied. Until obviously you see some gray hair over here, right? That's because I'm old, but I'm experienced. You just fell for a trap. You didn't realize it, but I just trapped you right now. <laughs> Let me see. You want to know how I trapped you? Yeah, man, please share. I got a feeling that if you were to run into Leon Edwards and you told him what you just told us, he would absolutely dig it. He would be blown away. Please do that. Seriously, I think a lot of these athletes, you might underestimate it. The respect that you all have between each other is amazing. Tell Leon Edwards what you said. I bet you he'll absolutely dig it and you'll have a, a, a friend or a colleague a tight colleague for life that's just my advice uh, again man you know i, I don't want to bother nobody you know I, I let leon be leon so you're letting me know you didn't talk for the trap then no nah, man I, I, I don't like bothering people bro right. I, you know i don't want nobody to bother me so <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. are we Is bothering that, you yeah, no we're no, not bothering you right no i'm i'm, I'm here for you guys so right. okay. I, I knew i knew what i was showing up for but, what's what's babe? Oh, babe, uh, babe, name. It's like it was like a clothing company that was like super popular when I was in high school, and it just now uh came came back into you know trending. So it's just like a little somewhat retro stuff. Do you are you uh, a part of it or you just wear it? No, man, I, I just wear it because I like it. That's awesome. All right, well, Montel, listen, congrats on the run that you're on. Thanks for stopping by, MMA Junkie, and good luck with the future, whatever it holds for you. Again, this division is my favorite division, and a credit to all you guys, man. It's so deep, so talented. Anyway, thanks again for stopping by. Thank you guys for having me, man. Thanks for supporting the, uh, the sport of MMA and, you know, upcoming and, you know, future stars, man.